I'm Mona and I think I hope you're doing well and I might actually even be sharing this with other people. So introduction to Calendly. So first thing is you want to create teams out of the, your different uh, teams or your companies and etc. whatever that is. So and the only way you could create a team is if you have more than one user. So um, I, I wanted to create a team for legal assist um, and then I will go create an event for that team. So I just have that in mind. But for now, because we only have one user, um, then we cannot create a team. But just know when I add, when you add the second user, just create a new team and just call it legal assist. And then you could probably duplicate uh, the the event that I'm about to create uh, for that team. With that being said, what I did was I, I duplicated this. So I'll be able to work on this and start it from scratch. So let's go click on edit. First is the title. Make it very short, straight to the point. Request to get your virtu legal virtual assistant. And then description. Don't leave until you book the call to get your dedicated legal virtual assistant for your law firm. To maybe even, I would even make it, you know, I would add a little bit more um, language. Um, So I would probably to be good to increase your productivity by 200% and focus on higher value tasks. There we go. A little bit two two benefits. So that's that. Uh, lo location should be Zoom. The only thing is, uh, whenever you uh, the users, the sales, the sales people uh, come on, just make sure to tell them to go to their client account and. Uh, integrate with Zoom. That way it's hooked up to their Zoom account. And then that, the, the event link, just make sure it's short, straight to the point, legal assist, that will do it. So that's that. Next is, this is very important. They could only, the invitees can schedule and you want to have it as short as much, uh, uh, you don't want to give them, let's just say it's Monday. You want to only show them the schedule for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, max. Maybe two or three days, three days max, nothing beyond that. The shorter amount of time, then the more likely that they're actually show up to the meeting. So you don't want to allow people to be able to book a time with you next week. That's too far out. So I would say by default, two or three will be good. Um, schedule. It looks like um, you'll be able to do that. It looks like Canly recently changed their scheduling things, um, but that's that. How long was this going to take? I don't know. 15 minutes, 30 minutes. I think let's go with 30 minutes. Buffers. I don't think we need a buffer. Um, but yeah, the meet just the durations just make sure it's short. It's not nobody wants to sit through a 45 minute or 60 minutes. So either 15 minutes or 30 minutes or 20 minutes, whatever that is. Up to 30 minutes is probably good enough. And then no buffer. Additional rules. Um, show increments every 30 minutes. Um, schedule inclusions. They can schedule within maybe you know within two, one or two hours. You know, um, they get your people have to be kind of ready. So maybe you know one hour or two hours. Uh, automatic detect time zone and save and close and that's it next is right here um, the options I'm gonna quickly just change these options just make sure it's a name input not name and it's too long just do name um, that's fine uh, remove this and allow invitees to add additional additional guests remove that um, next is phone number and maybe you want to put that at the end. Law firm name, that should be on. Practice area should be on. Like that. A little bit easier to read. I don't like this one. Um, that's not relevant. So we need to make sure it's relevant for that event. So there we go. Here's what 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 type of virtual assistance do you need? Is a is a good question. So I would change that. that what type of virtual assistant do you need make that required 
get rid of these. Um, personal assistant, and you should have put the more popular ones first. Intake specialist, tech assist, client retainer expert, paralegal, case manager, and then let them have a, a other. Really go on. Let me just make sure I have everything. Case manager. Intake specialist. Um, case manager. Curly goal. Texas. Perfect. So that's good. I'm going to put this up first. Uh, easy questions first, always. And then the harder questions, more private uh, questions next. I don't want to. I don't want to ask that. But let me see what other questions we asked here. Do we want their website URL? Yeah, maybe we want their website URL. So. Perfect. And then what other questions do we want to ask? I think that's it. Um, how soon do you need a virtual assistant? It, it's like sales. Uh, maybe we don't need it. Uh, daily question and then maybe let me see what other, let me, there's also another question that I usually add, which is, and I'm looking at my own uh, Calendly, by the way, for this. Uh, that is this. It's a way to increase show up rate is, it's a radio button, it's required. And it's one option. It says, yes, I'm, I'm permitted 100% coming in to attend my call. Let me just put that at the end. Like that. Okay. Save and close. So those are the questions. Just to review. Name, email, easy questions. Then a little bit more private information and phone numbers at the end. And then this little thing to get them to actually show up. That's pretty interesting. Uh, looks like they recently updated this. It's basically notifications. Next, um, uh, legal assist demo. Let me give it some, you know, make it a little, little bit. that and then you could customize it so for example let me look at my own you know I have a full lengthy thing I don't want to get into it but basically you could you know if you could, the more content you can stuff you could add to it the better you know you look at our video FAQ past on reviews etc um, that you could definitely add so you know Later on, maybe you could be able to customize those and make it a little bit better. Next is email reminders. Maybe just put their first name instead of their full name. I look forward to our call. Then maybe put There we go and I put a reminder 24 hours and one hour before and then email follow-up is an email that gets sent after the meeting um, uh, 
So you could, yeah, I would turn off, but in the future, you could, I do have, let me just quickly show you mine. Here's this pleasure speaking with you. Me and my team are committed to helping you start your business smoothly. Here's an FAQ. We got a YouTube channel. Here's our reviews. And then when you're ready, here's a sign up link. Please let me know a few questions, etc. And then, um, you know, things like that. So if you want to take a screenshot of this right now, and you can make something like this for yourself. And then text reminder is, I usually say, hey, Sam, your schedule, your 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 call legal I look forward to speaking with you soon. That's it. And then this is also a text reminder. It's 24 hours and one hour before. Okay. Cancellation policy is something like this. Just let me see. I'm going to. Yeah. Get them, get them to show up. Uh, confirmation page. We want them to be sent to our post demo booked. There we go. So that goes to the page where after they do a booking, they're sent to this page. Book for your demo, you know, here's a video, here's the benefits of legal assist, here's some video reviews, etc. Kind of first further nurtures them and gets them to show up. And that's it. Okay. So I hope that was helpful. So go ahead and uh, Mona, if you can add the other users um, to it, and then let me know. Um, and I'll create a group called Legal Assist at the event to there. And then just make sure that the user, whoever the salesperson is, make sure that they go into integrations and add Zoom. They integrate Zoom with it. That way it's integrated with it. Um, so I'll be waiting on your words before I implement this. All right, talk to you soon.